If wavy and wavy, what is he? I keep it chopping the glizzy. Keep it a stack, no kizzy. Uh, don't hit me up, I'm busy. I'm with the chop like a mellow. Uh, popping the kitty, hello. Uh, turning your brain to jello. Uh, Mexican plug Ernesto. If wavy and wavy, what is he? Uh, I keep it chopping the glizzy. Hello, wavy tone back. Um, if I sound a little, a little quiet, a little off, it's because your boy has strep throat. Or by the time you see this video, it might be, it might be eradicated, and you you'll see me out in the boat. So don't worry. Wavy time is fine. But uh, anyways, back with the video. I'm so sorry. I haven't uploaded since like, what, a week ago, I guess, since the last upload I put out. But um, I've been here. I've been alive. Uh, just been thinking about some stuff I want to do. Excited for like, you know, any new videos coming up. But I, let's get into the video that I want to talk about today. And I guess it's because, you know, I post on TikTok too. And like, you know, I don't just make videos or I don't whatever. And I mean, I, by now, you guys know that I'm a deacon. Uh, I've been serving for the past... Um, Six year anniversary is coming up right now, actually. Um, so fun fact, if you didn't know that. So I just want to kind of go about some misconceptions about deacons. Uh, I did the off the dome podcast and like we kind of talked about it there. But uh, the first thing I want to talk about with deacons is that we're regular people, too. We are no different than the, the normal average male teenager, male, whatever. Like we are people too. We grew up in the same situations. Deacons don't get plucked from their normal lives and just get thrown into a different special high school for like all deacons. Like, no, nope. that's not how things work. We grow up with the same influences that you guys grow through. We grow up with the same challenges, tribulations that you guys go through and low key, even more challenges and tribulations than regular people go through. So I don't understand why. Why? 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 Like I'll be on my TikTok and I'll be posting like a, a like a, a little baby sound or whatever like oh deacon rap oh deacon this like yeah i'm i'm a deacon yes i listen to Lil baby Lil uzi's actually my favorite rapper that's so so like i don't know challenging to people's contrary belief but yes Lil uzi's my favorite rapper and i'm a deacon okay cool ha ha like you know what i'm saying but um yo we're normal people like and we we're gonna do normal things we're gonna do like normal teenage things or normal just man things or i don't know like i don't know how to explain it like growing up it was a little difficult because it just felt like everyone's eyes are on you as I mean that you did. Sign, we did sign up for that when we became deacons, you know, that was probably one of the, you know, things that were like, okay, cool. Like this is probably going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like people at church, people like outside are going to look at you a little more and you know, that's given. And that's also on us to like our responsibility to like, you know, watch out for that. But at the same time, I think people need to understand that like, yo, like you need to cut deacons a slack in a sense of like, they're going to be doing just about the same things everyone else is going to be doing. Like, you don't have to be a deacon for you not to know how to do, like, not do the bad things. I'm not saying, like, oh, deacons who are doing, like, bad things like drugs or whatever, like, oh, yeah, they're going to be doing the same thing because, they're you know, say like they're normal people. No, like, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, like, just because he's a deacon doesn't mean he can't listen to music or, like, he can't, um, I don't know, have fun outside of church or he can't, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. The second thing that I want to go through is um, kind of from, like, a more religious standpoint but the expectation deacons have from their parents or like just people in the community and i kind of touched upon it in my last point but i feel like deacons end up not being deacons for that long because they'll get it when they're 12 i got my when i was 13 they'll get it when they're very young and then by the time they're 15 16 there's been so much pressure on them that what happens when you put too much pressure on something you either become a diamond or you crumble and a lot of deacons end up crumbling because the pressure is just too much. And also it's like, you're facing pressure from not only one angle, it's like your parents are right here, your people at church are right here, your friends are pulling you in another direction. So you know what I'm saying? When there's that many influence and that many like, like ropes that are tugging you in different directions, it's just a given that, you know, you're not gonna get the outcome that you expect. So that's why you, you probably see a lot of deacons like, wasn't he a deacon? Like, yeah, like, you know, when people ask me that question, I'd be like, yeah, he quit. And huh? like, how do you quit being a deacon? I'm like, that's an amazing question. Not for me, but that's an amazing question. And like, they're right. You really can't quote unquote quit being a deacon. My favorite, I forget who told me this, but my like, one of the favorite things that someone's ever told me about being a deacon is that the fire is hot. Like the hell, like hell, like the fire for your, my, my sins, our sins is hotter than like anyone else that's committing regular sins. Because the responsibility has been placed on our shoulders, which is true, but like I said, I really can't blame people for like not being a deacon or leaving like the church like at a younger age or like, you know, after being deacons or whatever, like what well, not like that, because 
people don't understand like how much of like um uh, like like how much of like a part of a life a part of your life it becomes like like i said you'll see me on tiktok i i this like, you know i I, talk, I freely talk about the fact that i'm a deacon but like it'll be like yo you're a deacon why are you doing this you're a deacon why are you dressed like that you're a deacon da -da -da -da. and like at a certain point it, it gets overwhelming and i don't blame people for like yo i don't yo forget this i don't want to do this anymore i i can't blame people for doing for acting like that so that was just like a little short video on the misconceptions of deacons if you do want a part two i could talk about this a lot more a lot more in detail it'll definitely be on a podcast soon but uh quick little video because i did miss kind of getting in front of the camera and doing something like this um appreciate you guys for watching hope you guys comment like subscribe all that fun stuff smash that follow button uh -huh. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! But, um, alright, catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Pikachu diamonds, they yellow. Uh, Indian pokey, my fellow. Uh, Indian pokey, my toe, though. Yeah.